You know, we can also put this big rotor with 12 magnets, four 60s, and eight 20 millimeter magnets. The heavy rotor over this little rotor with eight 20s and outside, four 20s inside, 12 magnets on each rotor. There's a little lift magnet below. We can put it here and it'll spin for a very long time. Let's just do a quick little thing just to see how it moves up and down like a little skier. That's cool, isn't it? From the Lurkley Hill crop picture in 2005. Now let's spin it a little bit harder and see what happens. A lot of weight moving now. It's very cool. This is from the Locally Hill crop picture of 2005, which is the heavy rotor now. The big heavy rotor is placed over the little one in the center, and we're seeing how it behaves like that. Before we had the little one over the big one, let's take a couple of views of it while it's spinning. There's a very slight up down motion, like a wobble, like a skier. Up and down. You see the rotor's going up and down on the rod very slightly. There could be imbalances or imperfections in the build also very slightly how accurate this build is. It's still going quite well. We're two minutes in. I didn't spin it that hard. It's very, very cool. I'm going to keep photographing it until it stops, just so you don't believe. If I have a break, you won't believe it keeps spinning. Two minutes now, it's spinning without stopping, and I didn't spin it very hard. Could go to lunch, it might keep spinning if I had got rid of the friction. This is not a perfect build. Imagine if it was a perfect build, it might spin forever. A frictionless magnetic gear at locally held drawn and crops in 2005. Hmm, getting tired. We're at 2.30. 2 minutes 30 seconds. Not ready to slow down yet. Dum -dee -dee. Rotating round and round and round. There's a lot of weight in that rotor we've got. Now it's starting to slow down finally due to friction with the rod. Now we're at three minutes. I didn't spin it very hard either. It's like watching grass grow, watching a perpetual motion machine spin. Here we go. Still spinning. I want to keep going until it stops spinning and you can watch it slow down. It's wobbling a bit when it slows down. 330. 345. <coughs> 350. I'll tell you, is this ET technology or what? I could have never made this on my own. Four minutes. And that's it. We'll try again soon. Now we're going to place the big big heavy rotor from Locally Hill over the small one and I've got a lift magnet here just a, sip, a little ring lift magnet of 100 millimeters the other 12 magnets are below now so what we've done we put the other 12 alternating magnets a little below the lift magnet rather than above and we'll try both of them and that changes the distance from the rotor slightly and let's just see how it spins I'm not going to spin it very hard I'll be here forever. Let's just see how it spins now. So this reduces the up-down motion a little bit because the 12 magnets on the little rotor are a little bit further from the 
big rotor. So it bounces up and down, but not quite as much. And the smooth lift magnet is just below them. Spins very smoothly. One minute in. <laughs> Let's get a view of it spinning from down here. You can see the, the 12 magnets on the below the lift magnet, in this case, rather than above. And this is the plane of spin. It's not moving up or down quite so much, having the lift magnets below the smooth one. So it's modulating the smooth one rather than being a direct effect. Let's go back up here and watch it spin some more. Now we're at two minutes in, coming up now on just about two minutes, right about now. There's not much to do while it spins. You can have your coffee, you can have your tea. This is almost a perpetual motion machine, it looks like. And we're taking some videos of the locally hill crop picture of 2005. It's sort of boring while we document how a perpetual a frictionless magnetic gear a perpetual motion machine runs because if I take a break you'll think I started it spinning again but I didn't it just spins and spins and spins we're going to try various variations and see which one spins the best you have to admit this is pretty cool starting to slow down a little bit now Coming up on three minutes. I should a very slow spin. I could do a fast one later, but let's just leave it like that for now. I mean, how could I have done this? This is ET technology. I've copied it straight out of the crops. I haven't invented anything. Ah, still spinning. Three minute and twenty seconds. Still spinning. Not exactly in a hurry to slow down. Three minute and forty seconds. Still spinning. This one's spinning a little more smoothly than the previous one because I put the 12 rotor a bit further away from the, the big rotor with the big magnets on top. The small rotor's below and the big rotor's on top and the small one's just a little bit further away by a few millimeters. Still spinning at four minutes. Nothing's been touched. It's still spinning. There's friction there, but it's still spinning more smoothly this time. doesn't want to stop. There's a little bit of humping and jock cogging, but it's less than before. Pretty much a frictionless magnetic gear. Just spins almost forever. Four minutes and 40. What if I'd spun it hard? We'd be here for 10 minutes. I might do a hard spin later. We'll see. If I have 10 minutes to spare. There it is. It finally stops at 4 minutes and 50 seconds and that's enough for now.